hey guys I just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all a, a teeny little bit a little blurb about the importance and the reason for the reverse diet into maintenance um, we've posted a lot of links to podcasts uh, different posts about it and and I just want to kind of emphasize why this part of the diet is important and suddenly traffic just decides to pick up next to my house. But why is this important? When our body is in a caloric deficit for a long time, it begins to adapt. It's a metabolic adaptation. Our metas metabolism drops. Your body wants to preserve some fat. That's kind of what it does. It's, you know, it's feast or famine. It wants to store it for when it needs it later to sur for survival. Our bodies are smart. They're engineered perfectly, but it can be frustrating when we are trying to, to lose weight. So let's say you're hearing us talk about a reverse diet to maintenance. You're like, well, I'm not done. I haven't lost exactly all the weight I wanna lose. Um, should I reverse diet? Possibly. I want you to think about there's several reasons why you should reverse diet and one of them would be you have been maybe for longer than this eight weeks been trying to lose weight and in a calorie deficit and staying low never going back up maybe you have for the past year maybe you have for your whole life always been in this vicious cycle of yo-yo dieting and always just kind of mm, always just kind of down here always keeping it low um but then not finding seeing the success because your body has adapted at that point maybe you have plateaued maybe you lost a lot of weight and maybe not exactly all you wanted to lose but you lost a lot of weight and you plateaued and you're not seeing any changes that's another reason for you to go into a reverse diet maybe you've lost the weight you're happy where you're you're at um, and you're ready to, to maintain. Another reason to reverse diet into maintenance. This way, what happens is you begin to introduce back more calories slowly, not all at once. You'll go to find your maintenance calories on maybe macro, macrozinc.net and find what your maintenance calories are and slowly add them back week by week maybe week one you're adding in 100 calories extra so you're at 1600 you've been at 1600 every day make it 1700 every day and then the next week add in more and what you need to do is take measurements because measurements are going to show you if you're gain if you're gaining back fat the scale's not the scale's going to fluctuate in a reverse diet it's going to be a little bit frustrating so don't pay attention so much to the scale as you do to measurements if your tummy is staying the same you're not gaining back fat because that is normally the one of the first places we're going to gain back the fat so take your measurements that's what's part of the little chart that i sent you is to keep track of those measurements um adding those calories back in and so slowly as we're adding those calories back in and we're going to get to a maintenance point where you can maintain the weight that you're at you're not so restrictive you're not so much focused of a in a cut you relax a little your meta metabolism is going to go back up because your body is getting what it, it it needs to survive and you stay active you stay doing those things you know, being an active person, getting in your steps, drinking your water, being healthy. Then let's say you're like, well, I do eventually want to cut again. You're going to have a more successful cut after being in maintenance two to three months. Okay. Backing off, relaxing a little, not being so crazy about weighing and measuring, but being able to relax. And then when you want to cut again, just in time for the summer, you can get in that bikini or whatever, then cut again in two to three months from now and apply all those you know habits you have built up and you'll see you'll have a much more successful cut if you allow your body to get back into maintenance. 
it's a scary thing. It's a scary thing to do because we all have that worry. Well, I'm going to gain everything back or I'm going to lose control or whatever, but this should help you to avoid those moments of um, binging those binge cycles because you're allowed to have a treat. If you're still able to fit it into your macros, you're able to have a more normal lifestyle of eating. You're not denying yourselves of the sweets so often. You're able to be creative about it and, and get them into your meals every day. If you have to have, like, let's say you your thing is a bowl of cereal, you love a bowl of cereal, you're gonna have a little more flexibility in your calories now to include that into your day. So you will be, you'll feel a little, lot more satisfied, maybe a little less hangry, a lot more happy. So a reverse diet might be exactly what you need, even though you're thinking, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm not done, I'm not done dieting yet. I'm gonna be in a calorie deficit forever. You should not be in a calorie deficit forever. You should live most of the year in maintenance, not in a deficit. Do you understand me? And guess what? People can lose weight in, a, in maintenance. People can. Not everybody does. I can't guarantee that. But a lot of people do because their body is getting what it's need. It's making changes and the metabolism is going back up. Trust the process, guys. I promise. <laughs> Give it a chance. You, or else you're just going to continue to have binge cycles of yo-yo dieting and being frustrated and why isn't this working when you can take that slow step back feel a little more normal allow your body to adapt and the metabolism to go back up and that you can find success in your next cut so food for thought because i know that's all we think about right there's a lot of food Week eight is done. We're into maintenance. If you're ready, I would just say don't don't go beyond eight to ten weeks in a cut. If you want to cut a little longer, you're still having success. That's your choice. If you're ready to go into maintenance, which I am, that's my choice. And I'm excited to reverse back into there. Have a great day, guys. Mm -hmm.